Hi everybody. Hi guys, I'm Gabby. And I'm still Paul. We are still PB&G PB &G Home, Home Group, Group and welcome to our weekly fishbowl chat. For this week, we have had some, uh, well, we've had some user engagement and um, people have voted that we should have a real fishbowl. So here's the real fishbowl. Here are all of the many, many questions that uh, people are sending to us and continue, we'll continue to fill it with what's coming in. And let's pull out the question for this week and see what the answer might be that Paul may or may not be giving you. This one's not scripted, by the way. <laughs> so No notes. Here is the question for the day. Where do realtors go to get inspiration for home improvements? And how do you guys know what to improve or freshen up around your own house? That's a good question. I love multi-part questions, <laughs> not really. Where do we go to get inspiration for home improvements? Um, Part of the occupational hazard of this job is seeing a lot of other people's homes. So sometimes it can be as simple as we're looking to redo our bathroom and we True find a bathroom that fits our exact color scheme. So maybe we take a picture of it. Um, Gabby, because Paul doesn't know how to do this, will often spend hours in Pinterest and house and looking at places like that. So but, like all of you guys are doing too. Yeah, pretty much the same thing. Um, we do watch a little HGTV. We don't try to get too hung up on it because it's a little too close to home from a work perspective sometimes. Um, it's kind of like um, fantasy land for agents. It doesn't happen that way. But yeah, anyway. things are not like HGTV in no. reality, you guys, at all. <laughs> but, but anyway, it, it's a good question. And it is part of, um, you know, it's just part of what we do when we're uh, working with buyers and sellers is we're looking around to find out what works in homes, what people are drawn to, uh, kind of keeps us a little bit on top of uh, color schemes that are working and not working. And Please, let's never go back to avocado-colored uh, refrigerators again. I am I starting to see them, them again. They're, they're making a comeback. <laughs> Don't do it. Just say no. Yeah. But, but in all honesty, I think um, what we do often is we look at hundreds and hundreds of listings on behalf of, you know, even when we have five active buyers at any given time or when we have a seller who's reaching out or a future seller that is um, looking to get some guidance to make their home marketable. And I think the answer here is, yes, we do go to media to get some inspiration on what's in or what's trending or what may be classic, classic enough so that a home might, you know, get staged with the furniture that's already there mm -hmm. to just get freshened up. Yes. So yes, we do absolutely use the multiple listing service for inspiration too. And it's really fun to uh, scream across the office hall when we see properties that are well updated or well appointed because it does give us inspiration. She screams. I, don't, I may scream. I, I squeal. Scream. Okay, fine. Um, and how do you guys know what to improve or freshen up around your own house? <laughs> so that one needs a little bit of uh, time um, because, you know, when we're looking at uh, the types of things we'd like to do to uh, freshen up our house, we go to all these places to get inspiration. And then in, you know, it just is finding the time to do it and uh, getting the right people out who can kind of help guide us through the process because just like most of you, we're not contractors. So when we talk about wanting to redo a bathroom, we can show a picture to a contractor, but we have no idea what it is that we're actually looking for unless we have somebody to guide us. Unfortunately, we've got a couple of really good contractors. So um, that really helps. Um, it's amazing what a coat of paint will do, and uh, if the floors are stained, you know, the carpet looks like maybe too many pets have been on it, it's probably getting close to time to refresh. Yep. So that's all we have for today. Certainly you're hearing, you know, how we get inspiration. Um, certainly if you ever want a second opinion from us, we'll give you lots of opinions. We'll also tell you where you can go, where we found our um, options and uh, visions for said new upcoming bathrooms. And finally, if you need any quality contractors, handymen, or resources, um, always call us and we're happy to share with you um, who's worked with us, who is on our preferred vendor list, and um, any other questions, give us a call. Otherwise, we'll be here next week for the next Fishbowl Chat. Again, I'm Gabby. And I'm still Paul. We're Ciao, y'all. PB&G Home Group. Bye.